it's feeling a little springish here. Now we still have a ton of snow. This is my vegetable garden out back. And as you can see, the fence line here is still well under the snow and there's a huge mound of snow in my veggie garden. So I won't be getting at that anytime soon, but the greenhouse has thawed out, which is a great sign. And I'm just going to show you what I do to prepare my greenhouse for starting seeds in a cold climate. This is not a heated greenhouse. Now, I did put in a heat lamp. I showed you last year. It was just an inexpensive infrared light bulb with a mixing bowl, actually, from the dollar store. And a pigtail in there. And we just made this lamp. We made that years ago for the chicken coop. So we decided to repurpose it here in the greenhouse, but this is more to give me a longer season in the fall. It's not going to serve much purpose in here now. So I've cleaned out all my beds and there's lots of leaf mulch and everything in here. So they're all ready for planting out. There's still some frost a little deeper down in the soil, but the top layer has thawed out for some extra warmth for starting my seedlings and still I can't start them yet. I just did some test seedlings with some bird seed. I used the wild bird seed uh, striped sunflower seeds. It's much cheaper than actually buying sunflower seeds for planting and I will grow them as sunflowers. But because they're so inexpensive I'm just doing a test with them now to see if it's actually warm enough for them to germinate in here. So. What I have is just one of these inexpensive metal shelf units and on the back of it, on the north side, I have one of those cheap foil blankets. They're pretty inexpensive. You can get them anywhere. A uh, little emergency blanket. So I have that wrapping the back to reflect some of the sun back because this greenhouse is actually not in a great position. And then I have an extra layer of plastic. This is just a, a cheap plastic sheet. And so both of it is about two dollars. A dollar for this uh, plastic sheet and a dollar for this foil. So I have it clamped on here with just a couple of little clamps. And in here I have my seedling trays and just a few striped sunflower seeds from the bird seed. And if they germinate, then I can go ahead and try some other things. And I may put some spinach in later on today as well. So that's how I set it up. So it's like a little greenhouse inside the greenhouse. Also, I keep a lot of things like these plastic bottles back here. So if I want to start my seeds real soon, I can plant the seeds inside the greenhouse here and then just use this as a cloche so it has some double protection inside the greenhouse while it's still quite cool in here. So that's just a little garden update and the greenhouse has finally, for the most part, thawed out. Can't wait to get started at gardening but we still have some snow in the forecast for this week and likely some snow in the forecast maybe even in May so but inside the greenhouse and inside the coal frames gives us a little bit longer season. I'm going to take you out and show you the coal frames now too. And I had a real good surprise inside them yesterday when I was cleaning them out. There's still quite a lot of ice around here. But there's also some grass showing, so that's good. So as you can see, the coal frames are in the warmest and sunniest part of my garden. Finally getting some sun, it's so nice. And this year, I'm now that the wood has weathered, I'm going to paint them black as well to match everything else here in the garden. And these are working quite well. So pretty much everything in here is cleared out. A couple of weeds there that I can take care of and uh, it's very warm inside of here. It's even warmer than the greenhouse because the greenhouse is on the north side. And yesterday when I was cleaning out these coal frames I found a couple of great turnips. They weren't even woody.
They survived in here, and as you can see, look, uh, there's lots of little new seedlings from native plants coming up. The soil is uh, thawed out nicely here. That's very good. So I'm thinking I'm going to plant out some spinach very soon inside of these, even though there's still a ton of snow in the garden. But you can certainly feel the temperature change as soon as you open this, the heat comes out. So these were definitely a great investment. I'll, uh, I'll link to how we built them uh, in the description box below. We made these last year and it's certainly made a difference. Now this will be my first spring with them so I can see then how much earlier I can start out because this is a probably uh, a month or more earlier than I would normally uh, start planting seedlings, but I'm going to give it a try in these now. So it's just a little spring garden update. I'm not quite spring here yet, but it's getting there when the sun is shining. I just love to get outside and <laughs> start dreaming about the garden again. So while it's not quite spring here yet, I uh, can't wait to get started at my gardening and hopefully throughout the summer I'll have a lot more little garden videos for you and if you have any gardening questions about organic or urban organic gardening uh, just leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer any gardening questions that you have.